Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 22nd. We're still pretty heavy into this eclipse energy, so things probably been a little chaotic, a little crazy. Um, we're just going to see what comes up for the 22nd. What do we got for the 22nd? This may or may not resonate for you. It's for whoever. One card. Abundance. Woohoo. Abundance. Isn't that what we're all looking for? Abundance. But people get this misconception that abundance is uh, monetary. To some extent it is. But abundance really comes from within. The best things in life aren't things. And perhaps that's what somebody is realizing, right? Perhaps somebody is realizing exactly that. You know, finding gratitude for the little things. It's all those other things that make you abundant. Let's get another one. Now this card reminds me of the Nine of Pentacles. It does, if you think about it. That's... Enjoying life, enjoying the finer things in life. I mean, that is what abundance is. At peace. <laughs> Damn, I knew it. Yeah, at peace with the past. At peace with, you know, the completion. At peace with the end, right? I mean, this is the end. Somebody is literally stepping over that finish line. Now we have this major new beginning because somebody has learned a lesson in regards to what abundance really is and what they should be grateful for. It looks like somebody has found... A Gratitude in the little things. Huge lesson learned there. Huge lesson. Completion. You can check that lesson off of your bucket list. Lesson learned. We do have a major completion here because that's exactly what this is. It's the end. It's the last card in the deck. Somebody has traveled their journey. It, we're at the end, okay? The journey, the, the phase, the chapter, the lesson that needed to be learned, it's at the end, okay? That lesson, there's no more. You've learned it. It's over. It's done. It's time to begin again. Somebody is traveling to a new destination, whether it's actually physically traveling or mentally traveling, whatever. Can't stay there no more. It's over. It's over. It's time for the next phase. Some The decision has been made, right? Somebody has taken the logical route and standing firm in their decision. Oh, and it is painful. It is painful. It hurts. It hurts.
Wow, it's been too overwhelming. It's been too burdensome. It's too much. I, they, I can't do it anymore. Somebody is making a decision to let go of something that really hurts their heart or something to do with their heart. You know, this is a three of this is the three of swords. Okay, heartache caused them a lot of heartache. Caused them a lot of pain. It's been overwhelming. It's been burdensome. It's been heavy. Really, really, it's like, I can't do it anymore. Oh, the Empress. Page of Swords. Yeah, somebody has been really discontent and unhappy, really unhappy, wanting more. Wanting more out of life. Giving up. Totally giving up on the situation. Whew. It's over. It's over. Okay? The difficult period that you have been through. The difficulty. You know, the betrayal. The pain that somebody has held on to for who knows what reason. It's over with. It's over. That difficult period is over, okay? Because somebody is making the decision. This is making that decision. To end it. To step over the finish line. I mean, we have the world, which is completion. The Ten of Wands, is, which is completion. The Ten of Swords. Completion, completion, completion. Somebody is withdrawing emotionally. And this could be emotional. This could be really emotional, this ending. Because it's something that you knew. It's something that you did hold on to for a long time. Somebody was really afraid to take a risk for a really long time and didn't have the courage to do so. But it's like, you know what? I know that I'm worth more and I know that I want more and I know I want the whole package. I know that I want the the real deal. So I'm going to have to be honest here. So I think that there's going to be some communication that comes through, whether it's your own communication that comes from within or from another person that... gives you the information to that allows you to step over that finish line to really step over that finish line has this even zoomed in no nope. didn't turn the light on either slacking i guess that's what happens i'm sorry I don't know if you can see that any better. There we go. Somebody doesn't want to be played a fool. I don't want to be played the fool anymore. So I'm going to have to, you know, emotionally withdraw from this situation that has left me bored and discontent anyway. And it looks like they're going to begin a new life. And they're ready for a new life. Now, the Empress is abundance. She is. This is the birth of something new. It really is. Doing it out of self-love. Self-respect. Let's get some more cards. We ha I think we have a painful ending here in which somebody is making a, 
a decision that they pondered on. It's not like this was a foolish decision. It wasn't. They pondered on it for quite some time. They really thought about it. Really, really, really thought about it. Is it time to go? Is it time to go? Is it time to go? And they have finally decided that it is time to go because I, I want this whole package. I want the abundance. There could have been a third party situation that's being let go of, you know, because there's been, there's been no joy there. There's been no happiness. Somebody may have gotten mixed up with an energy thief, somebody that didn't have good intentions and, and now, you know, they have to stop being foolish. Ah, queen of pentacles reversed. Huh. Selfish jealous we have a selfish jealous jealous woman here <laughs> oh god oh but she's she's probably been cheated on or something like that you know what i mean she's looking at the third party situation she is the third party situation that's turned her life upside down, whoever this woman is, somebody has, is looking at a third party situation that has turned her life upside down. Somebody has a new opportunity for love, has to make a choice to go in a different direction. Somebody has an opportunity to end a hurtful situation and just go in another direction, a painful situation. Somebody has to make a choice, though, between two people, and that is exactly what this is. Somebody has to choose between two lovers, two paths, and one of them's going to have to end, okay? One of them's going to have to end so that you can unite with the one that they have brought into your life, probably unexpectedly, or the old one, whichever one it is. There's an, there's an opportunity to reunite a reunion there is with somebody that they have brought into your life for a reason this may be very unexpected very very unexpected there's been a lot of hurt there's been a lot of pain and there's been some betrayal okay but everybody can see this this person's worth. I mean, the Empress's worth. I mean, everybody knows what she's worth. Everybody. And it looks like somebody is going to communicate something. Either about this person or to this person. About an ending of something. Now this could this could be a family member. I don't know. Somebody's going to communicate that something has happened. You know, the emperor reversed. Things are good. Might feel like they're a little out of control. Things may feel a little out of control because I think that somebody has been trying to keep things under wraps, trying to keep things organized, but it's not something you can control because it's too overwhelming. It's too um, painful. You know, it's too. It's definitely too painful. It's, it's too deceptive. Something about the whole situation is not right. Okay, put it that way. Somebody's giving up. Somebody is giving up on a third party situation and heading towards a soulmate. Because these are soulmates. These are soulmates. And these are soulmates. And this is giving up the third parties. There's a somebody is ending something with the wrong one and headed towards the right one. And that's is exactly what this is. Somebody has made the decision that, you know, it's time, it's time. 
It is. It's the hangman standing up. It's time. No longer resisting. He's ready. Now, this could be any anybody at all. Somebody is, 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 is make, taking a stand, breaking free. No longer going to waste any time. I'm going to stand up. Breaking free. Somebody is breaking free from a very discontent, unhappy situation. They, they, you know, they thought that they could get what they wanted out of this cup, when in fact what they really wanted was over here, and they could only, whatever. Somebody made a mistake. That's what's going on here. And now, you know, it's like they're, they see they've been enlightened, right? The hanged man is standing up. Received the clarity that they needed. This person has stalled because they couldn't master their emotions. But now it's like there's this is this is true love, okay? This is a true love connection. It really is. Yeah, okay? True love connection. Um <laughs> And it's not something that you can control. And it feels like somebody has been trying to control it. And there's probably some 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 anger over, you know. This is anger. There's anger over this woman. This person is angry over this woman's abundance. This could be the same woman. This is Taurus. This is Taurus. This is Taurus. Virgo, Capricorn. We have Gemini. We have Libra. Um, could be any sign. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think we said them all, right? Anyhow, um, there's a completion of a difficult cycle because somebody is ending the betrayal and going after their soulmate. After being in an unhealthy situation that was unhappy, and it was like it was unreal. It was unreal. But this person has been really emotionally distraught, resisting change. Really hurting, really in a lot of pain about this soulmate that they've been dreaming of, okay? Somebody acted foolishly, got themselves involved with the wrong person, wasted some time, and now they're angry that this one has so many options. And they may have done that because this one's jealous and suspicious. Sometimes she can be a little smothering. And that's burdensome, right? But there is going to be some kind of communication that comes through, whether it's from this actual person or from somebody in the circle that says something is over. And there's a new opportunity here. There's a new opportunity. Now this can even signal, signal, signify, this is like, this could signify, um, a reunion, a reconciliation. Or this could be somebody brand new. that you have not had the courage to go towards or they haven't had the courage to come towards you. I think this is something that has ended though in the past or it's about something is going to end so it could go either way, right? Something is going to end and it's going to lead somebody towards the soulmate that they are meant to be with, whatever that is. This is, this is a gift. 
okay? And this is a gift as well, a gift of love. <laughs> the ultimate abundance is love, really. So somebody is headed towards true love when they decide to stand up, make that decision. Somebody is making that firm, solid decision to drop something that they foolishly held on to that was making them unhappy, it caused them to be angry too. Maybe they tried to manipulate a situation. But now it's like, all I want is love. All I want is love. All I want is love. Somebody's decided to stop sacrificing themselves and wasting their time on a third party's on somebody that's not right for them. They're moving, they're moving. Yeah, there's no wish fulfillment where they're at. There's, they know that. They've lost hope in the situation. And they know that it's time to make some compromises. Start something new. Learn some new things. And go after that better opportunity, even if it means that they have to learn new things. It's like, I gotta, I gotta go after the stable opportunity. I gotta go after the... I don't know why she's got cards in her hand. That doesn't make sense at all. I'm sorry. I gotta go after the gold. The real gold. <laughs> Somebody's wanting to work together after they they didn't. They didn't want to work together. They didn't want to put in effort. They didn't want to do anything differently. But now it's like, I'm ready. I'm ready. Whatever. What do you what What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I'll do whatever I got to do to make this successful. Because somebody can't find wish fulfillment for some reason. Oh, the world again. And it's, it's time. It's time. They've learned some sort of lesson. Somebody has learned a lesson. It's time to step over that finish line. It's time to complete this betrayal, this period, this, this painful situation. It's time. It's the end. It's over. It's the end. It's the end of a lie. Okay? This is a lie. Somebody has learned a difficult, painful lesson about love and abundance and what abundance really is. The world card is a lesson learned and somebody has absolutely learned a lesson, okay? There is no joke. And that lesson is in regards to love, okay? It really is. It's in regards to love. And what love is, I mean, that's what it is. Somebody has learned a lesson and they're ready to complete that painful, difficult cycle of betrayal. And it's, this could be betray, betrayal of self. Not going to lie to myself anymore about what love is or about what is important to me or about this whole situation, you know. Somebody may be delivering a uh, message that makes somebody, that hurts, you know, a message that hurts that, you know, I'm leaving. You may be delivering it to your partner. I'm leaving. Or your partner may be delivering it to you. Or you may be receiving a message even that, I mean, this card can signify that somebody has passed away. 
I was going to say it earlier, but I stopped myself. But I'm going to say it now. This could mean that. I mean, you could you could receive a message that somebody has passed away. Somebody's left. This is a completion. That leads to the ultimate love. I mean, I don't know. I mean, this is like a death, okay? So I don't know what this is, but you know, this is a this is leading towards a new, happy, loving, fulfill, fulfilling beginning. I mean, somebody is starting a new life, okay? Somebody is going to end a very difficult phase, a very difficult chapter. They have learned a huge lesson with the world cards twice. They're giving up on a situation that has no more hope, and they're headed towards love, okay? Extreme love. Because they're not going to be foolish, and they're not going to lie to themselves, and they're going to be logical, and they're going to do the right thing. Somebody is headed towards the love of their life. Because this person is abundant from within. And they're going to move quick. Very, very quick. There's going to be fast communication or very fast movement. And a lot of people have forgotten that these are the rods of love. They are headed towards love. And the only way that they can get there is to end the difficult, painful chapter that they have held on to. Yeah, so this is Love Heals. Somebody is headed towards a partnership that is divinely guided. And they're going to be presented with a decision, a choice. Are you ready to step over that finish line? Are you? Are you? Are you ready? Ready to climb that ladder? You ready to go through them doors? Are you ready for love? Are you ready for abundance? Are you ready for your new beginning? The choice is yours. Should we get another oracle card? I mean, this was pretty long, huh? Where's my deck? I don't even know. Let's see. You know how I love this deck right here. Let's get an oracle card. Something is going to be happening very, very, very quickly, and it's headed some, heading somebody towards a much more emotionally fulfilling situation. They have been involved in a very uh, discontent situation where there was a lack of love. There was a lack of love, and they resisted the change. They resisted the struggle. They resisted dealing with the pain of a situation. They may have gotten into a third-party situation out of a rebound, you know, because you're the third-party situation, like, all over here. Okay, so, um, three, 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 three. I mean, it's everywhere. Somebody has got themselves into a third-party situation that didn't serve them, and it could have been out of a rebound, you know, trying to, you know whatever manipulate a situation whatever and and now it's like they see they see somebody's abundance they see the the love that they had or whatever the case is and that's what they want they want love they, whether it's the love that they had or it's new love I want love I want true love I want love. I want abundance. It's not, there's no, hardly any money in these cards, okay? I think the only one we have is the Three of Pentacles. And then the Queen of Pentacles reverse, it's not about money. It's not about the money in this situation. It's not. And somebody is realizing that it's not about the money at this point. It's about love. Somebody has come to that realization that it's about love. I want love. 
and they're, they've learned a serious lesson about abundance and what abundance really is. Lesson about abundance. I mean, that's what, lesson about abundance. You can't make that shit up, okay? So, let's read that card. Somebody has learned a lesson about what, what's, what, What's most in, what what is abundance? Is abun I mean, hey, some of you will think abundance is money and that's hey, that's your own lesson. Feel free. Feel free to keep going down that road. There's consequences for that. <laughs> so whatever. Anyhow, um, we're gonna read this card. Mystic Healer. Healing energy flows through you. Inner and outer healing on all levels is occurring in your life. A situation, relationship, or physical challenge is being resolved. What did I tell you? Have faith that it's happening. This is the time to find the source of challenges. Transform inner grievances. Do it now. This is what's going on here. You no longer need to carry it with you. And that's what I mean. It's been overwhelming. It's time to drop it. You are, you are a healing force for others, even if you're not aware of it. There are times when the traveler steps off the path to search for the mystic healer. The healer instructs that everything in nature has the intrinsic ability to restore itself and reminds you that you also have this powerful ability within you. For healing to occur on the outside... It's essential for healing to occur on the inner planes to do this. Meditate by visualizing a beautiful, vital future for yourself and trust that recovery is on the way. Past life issues may be emerging in order to be released. Be patient and have faith that beneath the surface all is well. This is all happening for a reason. This this transition, this ending. This is an ending here. It's a big one. It's an ending to a really stressful, uh, painful, uh, heartbreaking situation. And it's leading you towards a union that is divinely guided. Just go. Whoever this person is, they know. They know you. You know them, okay? It's going to be very, very familiar. It's just going to be, you know, you know, okay? So we have two people that are going to come together from a major completion of a cycle. Because somebody has realized what love is. I mean, that's what this is. I'm going to go after love. True love. Happiness. So yeah, that's what I got for today. Good luck.